Proof positive. New evidence on the Holy Shroud of Turin confirms the terrible punishments inflicted on our Lord Jesus Christ during the Passion. The results of recent scientific testing on our Lord's burial cloth will make you wonder why this study isn't more promoted. What is there to hide? Well, keep watching and you'll find out. Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and before we get going, make sure you hit subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you never miss out on another story of Mary. Oh, and also make sure you comment down below your thoughts on today's topic. On to the Shroud. Through the centuries, the miraculous aspects of the Holy Shroud of Turin, which is that linen sheet that wrapped the lifeless body of our Lord in the tomb, have awed believers and skeptics the world over. Even modern technology has proven the authenticity of the Holy Shroud time and time again, as well as unlocked many hidden features, including the three-dimensional qualities of our Lord's bodily imprint. But few objects of veneration have attracted so much controversy as the Shroud of Turin. Now let's begin with the most recent and modern controversy. On the morning of October 14, 1988, the world awoke to a shocking newspaper headline on a subject that rarely even makes the front pages. Quote, The Shroud of Turin declared a fake. This bit of hyperbole resulted from three badly managed carbon-14 tests of cloth snipped from the shroud. This famous carbon-14 dating study upon the shroud declared with 95% confidence that the shroud dated to only 1260 or 1390 AD. In other words, it was believed to be a medieval forgery, or so they said. Since the casual, unsuspecting reader thinks such tests are hollowed science, uh, science with a capital S, trademark over the E, everybody thought the case was closed, especially when the Archbishop Cardinal of Turin put up a rather weak defense. Not only is the case not closed, but because of the sloppy, unprofessional, if not malicious conduct of those involved in the carbon-14 dating study, the result can easily be challenged. The principal problem for dating came from the location of the sample they took. The worst possible place was chosen by two textile experts who have never even seen the shroud before. At least four or five repairs had been done in that area, which has also been contaminated by wax and starch, which usually distorts the results. I personally see this as an example of the modern world trying to hide the truth of our Lord's divinity from us. They don't want you and I to know the truth. That's one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel, to spread the truth about the devotion to our Lord and Our Lady. If you feel like I do and want more people like your friends and neighbors to learn more about Our Lady, consider joining our Child of Mary group. The Children of Mary are like-minded people like you who want to spread devotion to Our Lady as far and wide as we can. If you're curious, click the link in the description down below or go ahead and click the pop-up on your screen, right here. Okay, back to the shroud. Remember, the carbon dating study had failed to accurately date our Lord's shroud. In stark contrast to the 1988 carbon-14 dating study, Dr. Liberato De Caro from his Italy's Institute of Crystallography of the National Research Council in Bari has spent nearly 30 years studying the Shroud of Turin. Together with a team of researchers, he recently tested fibers from the shroud using the wide-angle x-ray scattering waxes, method. This fancy word simply refers to a manner of research which examines the natural aging of the cellulose that makes up the linen to provide age estimates. Dr. DeCaro's research is so recent that it was published in just this last year, on April 11, 2022 to be exact. And what he found from the thread sample of the shroud is that it is fully compatible with a linen sample from Israel dated 55 to 74 AD, according to historical records. In other words, far from the roughly 700 year age attributed to the shroud by the carbon-14 method, the waxes research found that in DeCaro's own words, quote, experimental results are compatible with the hypothesis that the Turin shroud is a 2,000 year old relic that has been faithfully related by Christian tradition. End quote. 
DeCaro and his team's work has already been evaluated and peer-reviewed by three other independent experts, as well as the editor of Heritage, the journal which published his findings. Perhaps God was thinking of us when he decided to wait for our times to begin to reveal the mysteries of the Shroud. When I see the sorrowful face of Jesus on the Shroud, it calls me to sorrow for my sins and should bolster us to do penance for our sins and the sins of others, as Our Lady requested at Fatima. And if you like this video, be sure to catch my sequel next week, where I'll be backtracking a bit on the science that surrounds the Shroud, such as where the scientific adventure began and what the blood markers on the Shroud tell us about the cruel torments the Godman of the Shroud endured. And that's all for you today. Thank you for watching, and may God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.